So you've got your new 48 and you need to set it up. So here's a quick setup guide. Your new 48 comes with a pre-configured port 1 at the 192.168.199 IP address. So you can actually manage your 48 using the command line or using the graphical user interface. We will do it using the graphical user interface with a web-based manager. So take up your client, that is your PC or your Mac, change the subnet to something in the 192.168.1 subnet. It could be 1.10, 1.11. Connect your client to your port 1 on your 48 and just open up your web browser at the 192.168.199 address. When you will do so, let's just move on and see what happens. All right, so you get into your browser, you type the address, the port 1 IP address, and you enter your administrator credentials. Now, if you have an older model, you would just use admin as a username with no password. On the latest firmwares, you will need to enter a password. Uh, I've, I've already entered one, so let's just get in, into our 48 and from here let's just move to system settings the very first thing you need to do is to change the, your host name now it may sound not important but if you have several 40 gates one of them is protecting your data center and one of them is blocking users on another department you will need to know which 40 gate did what so let's just name our 40 gate marketing so we will know that it protects our marketing division the second thing to do system time the best practice is to use 40 guard ntp so every appliance will be synchronized now you can set up different a uh, administrator settings such as the http port which you will probably keep at port 80 and https which is 443 the other thing that you can do is customization you can change your um, language either to english french spanish and so on and you can also change the theme of your 48 and you will see the different theme change immediately. Now, let me just use this one since it looks much more modern in my opinion. We will not get into the NGFW mode, either profile based or policy based. That will have to wait for another video. Um, let's just move on email service you can use the custom settings which are 40 guards SMTP email server or you can use your own or whichever SMTP server that you will use and you will see that you will use your email SMTP server more and more as you practice your 48 the other thing that you can do is to head over to FortiGuard and in FortiGuard and in antivirus and IPS updates enable the accept push updates so you will not miss any signature that is being pushed by the FortiGuard servers. The other thing that you can do server location use lowest latency locations it is a good practice to do so if you're not in the US. All right, so those are the default settings. Now, if you move to administrator, remember you're the administrator of your 40 gate. You can edit your administrator profile, add up your email, add up two factor authentication, and you can also add up what is known as a trusted host that is only administrators that connect to the 40 gate management interface through one of those ip address that you will configure 
will be permitted to enter. So you can set up your trusted host to your IP address at work and your IP address at your home location. You can also set up new administrator and you can actually add up a professional administrator that will take care of different areas on your FortiGate. Once you configure your settings and your administrator profile, you can add up more interfaces, the ones that are connected to your WAN interface and to your other LANs. I have a bunch of videos that will show you how to do so. And the other thing that you will need to do is to create a static route, a default route that will connect the traffic, the packets that needs to get out to the interface, to your gateway. That is the interface that is connected to your WAN interface. All right, so this was a quick setup guide. From there, you will probably move to policies and object, create your own policies, uh, uh, customize your interface, customize your settings, your logs and reports, uh, create security profiles, and so on.